Hello and welcome to a brand new series of No Man's Sky for the PlayStation 4. Let's go ahead and jump right into the game. Now, I have played this game in the past when it first came out. You know, I was one of those jump on the bandwagon players that's like, man, this game sounds so freaking awesome. You know, 16 quintillion or whatever planets, none of them are going to be the exact same. Then you get the game and it's the same shit over and over. Just repetitive after repetitive after repetitive. Get your iron, fix the ship, blah blah, blah go on and so forth. But finally, some of the stuff that they that the uh, dev said when the game first came out are finally in the game. You know, you have you have the chance of now owning your own starship freighter, which is freaking awesome it's like a mobile base in in space which is fantastic you can build your own base on planets you know oh, what is this okay so this right here i was like i'm saying enable base sharing we're going to hit go ahead and yeah we'll share our base we're not going to make anything stupid you know like a 13 year old kids like oh let's make a dick of of space buildings no screw that we're actually going to play this game right so Oh, there's some sent sentinels here. I don't, don't want to really do too much. I don't want to get killed by the sentinels. We don't have anything really good, so... Let's go ahead. We will follow the path of the atlas, just so we can get going. Now, when I first played, you had to have this thing called an atlas pass, and you got it from following this quest of the atlas, but I put in, like, 22 hours, never got an atlas pass. I said, screw it. I'm not gonna play this game anymore, not until they at least update it. And you know, the first update comes out, and guess what happens? All my saved data gets corrupted on my PlayStation. I thought I was lost my whole PlayStation, but luckily I just went ahead and deleted all my save files from No Man's Sky. So we're starting all out brand new. Let's go ahead and start collecting some stuff. I know we gotta get some type of sheet ready to get this uh, spacecraft fixed. As I mean, you see the pop-ups down below. So let's go ahead and start collecting iron. I believe the sheet, sheets are made out of iron. I think it's like 25, maybe 50 uh, units of iron to make one sheet. So let's go ahead and try to collect as much as you want. Another thing that's new is from the last time I played. When you first, when I first started playing, you could only carry stacks of 100 on you, so you could fill up super fast. Now you can carry stacks of 250, and then double that when you transfer it over to your starship of 500 which is freaking awesome so you can for people starting out you can actually carry a decent amount of stuff to get you going on your way so i'll probably not this this episode probably won't be too long you know we're just going to be able to get our starship going in this episode so we can start searching around this planet see what we got and maybe venture Maybe the second episode we'll start venturing out into the solar system. Well, crap. Here comes Sentinels. We don't really want to... They're scanning us. We don't really want to get shot or die yet. So, let's go over here. Have them... Looks like they're up. We're going to need some carbon. I believe carbon is how you, uh... Keep your life support system. This is plutonium. Plutonium, you need, you need it for everything. You need it for your... Your multi... Multi-laser tool. You need it for your starship. So... Pretty much, if you never played the game, wherever you go to the planet, if you see plutonium, grab the crap. You're going to need tons of it. Let's jump in here. We'll have to see how, if I remember how to fix this. So we need four sheets for just this. So I think I got enough iron to do it. Let's go ahead and check it out. You know, one thing I have is, well, hold on. Is it a certain button? I wish I still had a little booklet. I don't remember how to do this, but... Just, I guess, just hit some buttons and we'll see what goes on. Hmm. Oh, okay. Move over. Okay, there it is. You just move over, you click it, and you start building it. Now, will, will that stack? Let's try it. Let's go ahead and make this sheet. Okay, there we go. Now, will this stack? Awesome. It will stack, so... You're gonna need the, those sheets for, like, everything that you need to build for your starship. So, let's 
which is awesome. You can stack five of them now. They used not to be able to stack, so, you know, if you started out like this, you're, you're screwed because you had no room to keep crap. Whoever in the developer's world that did that, thank you for actually doing something smart. Oh, we got some, here's some new stuff. Let's see if I can hit that from here. Let's see. That's awesome. I can hit that from here, so I don't have to get over there by that sentinel, so they can't really see when we get out of here. Some carbon, some more iron. I don't think I really need that. Green. Emerald? Oh, emerald. Okay. Now, last time I played, emerald was like a circular ball. Now, I don't know if it's they changed it or it's just this plan, but it looks like all the craters have emerald here. So, let's go ahead, grab some of this. I know it's a neutral item, which will sell for good. Finally. This rock up here should be what they call Heridium, which you need to get the starship going. I haven't found Zinc yet. I know it's a plant. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Heridium, you're going to need about... Grab, oh, I'm full. Let's go ahead and transfer... Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's go ahead and transfer some items back to the starship, which is empty, so I have room. Yeah, I got a ton of emerald that will sell a lot, so you can carry 250 a stack, which is awesome. I don't know what this is used for, but it looks like it sells for a pretty good penny. So we're gonna, that's one thing we wanna get as many, much units as we can. Keck charms are always good. That last item is like nanotech or whatever. That's made for, that's, they're saying it's for uh, blueprints. So it looks like you gotta buy your blueprints to be able to build the, the new ships and everything that's in the game. Go ahead and collect this for and we get at least 250, you know, at least a stack of everything. At least one stack, this I think would be good. Um, once we start getting our, what do you call it, your, I call it a backpack bigger, we'll probably just at least have two stacks of all the, you know, major items that we actually need. What do we got here? Some plutonium. Plutonium is always good. You need it for your, your mining beam, stuff like that. We'll go ahead and grab that. Ooh. Finally some animals. Now, I've never done all the achievements on it, so I know I'm going to try to go get all the achievements. I know some of it is like, check out all the animals on one planet. Which, you know, if I just did a video of me running around trying to find every single animal, you guys would be like, okay, this this guy's boring. Oh, what is this? Is this Zinc? No, Thamian 9. Okay, I remember when I first played, you need Thamian 9, so we'll go ahead and grab that. But... Oh, and we'll grab some copper. That will sell. That will sell really good, too. But this zinc... I've been traveling for almost an hour and still haven't found zinc yet. Which is crazy. I've been finding plutonium. I've been finding... I just found thamium 9. Uh, I've been finding a lot of that amorite or whatever it is that you saw. Okay, what, is this zinc? No. This looks new, so it's, I don't know, it's free. Let's go ahead and grab that crap. About good. Uh, 25 a thing, that's awesome, 100. Huh, is that Spike from Land Before Time? I don't know. That's pretty awesome. And there's another one of those purple plants. We'll just go over there and grab that real fast. Come on. Yeah, that's one of those. Hopefully Spike doesn't come over and kill me. You know, you can actually name your animals, so I, I'll probably name that animal Spike on that planet. I think that'd be pretty funny. And is that Zinc? Why am I shooting? That's Zinc. Finally. Some more Emerald. We don't really need that. We've got almost two full stacks of Emerald. Let's get the Zinc. Let's get our spaceship up and going. I'm tired of running around. I've been running all over this map. I don't think I'm too far away from the ship because I've been zigzagging back and forth. But damn, it took a long time to find the zinc. Hopefully it's enough so we don't have to keep... See, like every crater has emerald in it. I could have swore it was like like that copper that, I, that you guys saw me mine earlier. I could have swore it was like a, a dome-shaped rock. See how much we get out of here. 20 plus something. And see what, oh, there's another one. Let's sprint over here. Let's grab that. This should give us enough to at least get the get the boosters and everything going, we'll, and we'll get the get the craft set back up.
Hmm. Now where's my spaceship at? There it is. Let's start heading back. Not that far. About five minutes away. Let's go ahead and start heading back. So finally we're back. We got the spaceship up and running so we can actually take off. But I'm going to call this the end of the episode. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Share it with your friends. And as always, have a great day.